This one's going left, Rich. Not knocking down the flag stick here, but it looks as though it will find the green. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Ooh, so close. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. Did the job right there. Now we go to the 11th hole, and this is a par five, but it's actually shorter than the par four tenth. This one comes in at 530 yards, and, and more evidence of the kind of creativity by the award-winning design team of Patel and Duncan. Well, that's right. Patel really is, is known to be the shaper. He's the one that makes all those interesting shapes of the bunkers. For example, here, Nipping it in the fairway, making driver almost too much club or very, very risky, plus the front bunker there. Now, this is a great par five. The reason why, it's reachable, it's tempting, but you don't know what you're going to finish up shooting on it. Out of the sand and back on the fairway. Yeah, good shot. Just uh, really utilized that little bit between the ears. Realized he couldn't reach the green and instead opted for fairway. Third shot, looking for a good one. Birdie try up next. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up! <laughs> Settles in over the putt. In for par. Moving on to the 12th hole now. Par four, 439 yards. Headed for the bunker? Yet again, in the bunker off the tee. Yeah, about 150 yards left here, Frank. So Frank, out of the bunker and back into play. Yeah, the late Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf is always the next one. Well, by getting the ball back in play, he just made that a little easier. Should be safely on deck. That was like Usain Bolt, Frank, right through the tape. Yeah, that first step, that was never going to stop. Well, bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled, that he could open up a three iron, that's right, a three iron, on a short bunker shot from a green side bunker and splash it to a couple of feet as if he had just used a 60 degree sandwich. Amazing. Shouldn't be a problem here. into a tie for the lead after that bogey. I'm going to have to shake that off very quickly. Well, well, well. What do we have here, partner? The par 5, 13th, or is it a par 8? I can't tell. It looks like a misprint, uh, Rich. 702 yards, and not only that, too, they put the two fairway bunkers uh, in a perfect place. Perfect place if they want to annoy your tee shot. It's going to take 310, 320 yards just to get past that. Then you've got a long, long way to go. And, of course, remember when you're on 10? This is the shared green. So 13 and 10, and this is where they meet up again at the end of a long, long walk.
Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Frank, straight uphill with this approach shot, what do you have to factor in in terms of club selection and setup over the ball? Well, you're going to have to take at least an extra club um, to, to make up for that added elevation. And also, it's tougher to get onto that front foot. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Coming off a of bogey here yesterday, chance to make it right. That one drops. What a birdie. Now at the par 3 14th, over another body of water, Frank, you could make some big numbers on this golf course. I would think if you walk out of here today having shot under par, you have to be really happy. Certainly is big boy golf playing around uh, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point, Rich. And this is another example here at this beefy par 3, 240 yards. Uh, you see Lake Zimmer protects the front of this green and to the right. That's obviously where they get all their irrigation water from. But uh, there's enough green left of the flag here. That's really what you've got to be looking at, that front left section. Solid play, heart of the green. He has a 12-footer here. Good putt. Fifteenth hole and Frank a return to sanity. 387 yards, par four. Yeah, second easiest hole on the golf course. Uh, bends a little to the left. Just avoid the sand left and that little pot bunker on the right. And you should uh, be set up with a relatively short iron end to a, a green. That really, the only problem is if you go long. I've seen some long tee shots. But it's the advantage to tee that ball up. Get it up there quickly. Get the wind behind you. It's amazing how far you can hit it. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. And it makes the green in regulation. He has this for a birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Final part three on the back side. It's the 16th, 241 yards. Time to make a move as we are in the finishing stretch here. When you give the scorecard a cursory look, you might think 240-something yards is a difficult hole, but this plays quite a bit downhill, so it plays more around the 200-yard mark. A fairly generous green, uh, protected by the bunker. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Frank, you've played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? 
Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, if down breeze, tear it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. Good shot right there. Just a couple of feet. He'll take par and move on. The 17th hole is another par five over 600 yards. You get a terrific view of Juniata Crossway Bridge just ahead. And, and Frank, if you jump over that bridge, you can get a dynamite lobster roll at Nielsen's Lobster Shack. I don't know if you've ever had it. Oh, but it's it, one of the best. It just adds to sort of the charm of this area. But what a hole this is. S-shaped par five. You can see it bending to the right off the tee, and then the hole starts to go the other way with magnificent view of the bridge you're just referring to. Uh, reachable for the longest hitters. But uh, once again, avoid the bunkers, and they're all down the right side. Given the choice, most players would rather play from the green grass versus the white sand. Yeah, there was no advantage to try and take that much more out of that fairway bunker. Couldn't reach the green. It's a smart play. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. We've made it at last to the 18th, partner. What a finishing hole. It is. It's a tee shot you have to respect. Uh, that fairway goes on that uh, sort of 60-degree angle towards the left. So you have to know how far you fly the ball. And, of course, you can't afford to miss hit your tee shot. But a good tee shot. Let's talk a bit positive here. Good tee shot in the middle of fairway. Just going to leave you a short iron. And an excellent chance to uh, finish with another birdie. Long drive, but a bad lie. A uh, wicket. I'm thinking about 90 yards from here. He in the bunker, still with a chance for an up and down. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. And he's made it onto the green. To win the mid-season classic. No problems there. Yeah, it keeps the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. What a great tournament finish. This one is in the books, and look who finished top of the leaderboard. Rich, this has to go down as a classic. Our champion was simply on